Brilliant Minutes, sponsored by Sinkler Heating and Cooling. For 24-7 comfort on call. Sure, this this day isn't three scary minutes. <laughs> you know, we've had a lot of stories about. I don't like ticks. Okay, <laughs> this is not snakes, spiders, mice, ticks. No. Yeah, well, this is a story about ticks. It's a new invasive species, and there's some, lack of a better word, scary things uh, related to this tick. So here comes the story. It comes from Ohio State University. An exotic tick that can kill cattle is spreading across Ohio. Is okay. it a big t Well, let's <laughs> find out the details. Here it is. This, is, of course, is greatly magnified, mm -hmm. but it is the Asian longhorned tick, okay? So it originated in East Asia. It was most recently found, or I should say originally found, in New, New Jersey. Jersey only in 2017. So we're six years past the first finding, okay? They were reported in West Virginia in 2019, and now they're in Ohio. So they're obviously spreading. spreading. Not in Wisconsin yet, thankfully, but fingers crossed, right? Here's a little bit more about them. There's no getting rid of them, says the assistant professor of veterinary preventive medicine at Ohio State. And here's the problem, Jeff. They reproduce asexually. In other words, they don't need a mate. Every female can just lay eggs on her own, 2,000 at a time, multiple times throughout their lifetime. And that's why when they went to this farm to do this research, they estimated they collected 10,000 ticks in 25 minutes. <laughs> it, it becomes you know, exponential growth. They were found in such huge numbers that their feeding frenzy on the southeastern Ohio farm left three cattle dead of what researchers believe was severe blood loss. So the, ca the cows were just full of these ticks. Correct, correct. Ugh. So that's the problem. Now they can carry some disease that mainly would affect cattle, but this was not in that instance. In fact, that disease is not even found here in the United States, only in Asia, but they can carry that disease, okay? But this was just a matter of them sucking the blood out of the three cattle. Now, here's what can be done, okay? Fortunately, most tick, uh, tick control pesticides, if you will, will work against them, but they like to live in long grass and the grass would have to be coated. So it, that's going to be difficult. For right now, they think the best solution is to monitor cattle that are going to be especially transported, make sure that they've been treated with an anti-parasitic agent before the cattle are moved. But it's a scary thing. And in fact, after I did the story, I went to dig a little bit deeper and I went to the website of the USDA and you can see where this thing is actually spread all the way down through the Carolinas, a few cases there in Georgia, Kentucky, Over Tennessee. Over to Missouri? Yep, even, so, so far even Indiana has a case or two down there. So it is spreading, okay? And there's one other picture I wanted to share with you. This also from the USDA. Look at how tiny they are. They're like a sesame seed before they're full of blood. When they're full of blood, when they're gorged, they're about the size of a pea. But again, I'm sure we're going to be hearing more about this Asian longhorn tick because they're here to stay. Oh, all right, Brad. Okay. Thanks. Heads up. <laughs> yeah, okay.